Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Satish and I am your instructor for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about creating and managing a e-discovery case. Organizations have many reasons to respond to legal cases involving certain executives or other employees in their organization. This might involve quickly finding and retaining for further investigation specific information in email, documents, instant messaging, conversation, and other content location used by people in their day-to-day -day work task. These are the three types of e-discoveries available. Content searches, e-discovery cases, and advanced e-discovery cases. Content searches to perform fast searches for contents saved in one of the Office 365 services. E-discovery cases to add holes and perform content searches in an organized case management structure. And advanced e-discovery cases to analyze large set of unstructured data that needs additional automation through relevance recognition. Let's go and find out how to create a new e-discovery case. I'm on my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Under Admin Center, go to Security. You can directly go to Security by going into protection.office.com. Once you are in the Security and Compliance Center, scroll down on the left hand side you can find e-discovery. So click on e-discovery. This is where you would be able to find any existing case. You can click on open an existing case or you can click and create a new case as well. Advanced topics related to e-discovery is not related to this examination, but I will happily take you through this e-discovery process when we go through MS 500. Now that we have learned about what is e-discovery and how to create a new e-discovery case, in the next video, we're going to go through a demonstration to find out how to create and manage a supervision policy. So we'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.